Who are you? This one is going to Tiana. I'm gonna sneak you up here. Okay, just let it load up. It'd be better to take out the troops first. Come on, and there we are. Get over there. Can you get them before they move out of that territory? Yep. Alright. 9,000 to almost 3,000, so that shouldn't be a problem. Need to keep moving there, too. Uh, does a busted virgin, virgin exist? Yeah, I think we already we've already seen this. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with this one. There we go. Oh, kind. That's good. All right, you. I'll just uh, 25 gold. He's an enemy that I that will be used against me. So I am just going to execute him. Okay, how long would it take to... Okay, that's only 869. It'd be better to... Together and attack you. I'd say it'd always be better to take out the troops first. Even these guys. Because we got twice as many. Oh yeah, that's working out really nicely. This war is going quite well. Where they going? Aleppo. Got another dude. Oh, his heir is... Um, he's a Wali. I don't know exactly what that is, but whatever. He's an enemy, I will execute him. How long would it? How? Okay, so we're on, we're already halfway done with this combat. This is 900, so ah, uh, whatever. I'm already here, so I might as well just keep swinging for this dude, this territory. Ooh, Zoe, the maid of Ephe Ephesos, my lord. There are strange tidings from the province of Ephesos. Ephesos. As our country suffers under the strain of war, a young woman has come forward and declared that the Lord has spoken to her and instructed her to deliver us from the enemies of our land. She wears armor, wields a sword, and rides with the soldiers. Her name is Zoe, and she is said to be approaching your court at this very moment to offer her services as, to you as a leader of the war. Surely it is an absurd notion that a young peasant woman would come, would take the role of Marshal General of the Basilius' armies. Let us deceive her and see what she can do for us. Hmm. The twist and turns of Leon's tongue and the white lies he uses to make friends is making my head spin. How could such a young lad be able to lie so well? Your tongue will cause you problems. Oh, okay. Gain deceitful joy. That's, I don't like that. I don't like my kids being deceitful. Um, I'm sure you're not a heretic. Oh, well. I'm sure you're not a her heretic. It's not a big deal. This... This lady. This little girl. She can be... 14 there. And you, mm, you could be a, uh, oh wait, hold on a second. Oh, you're a hunchback, ew. Yeah, you can go for diplomacy. Actually, no, let's go, you, you can be intrigue. I'm sorry that you're a hunchback, my son. But also, let's check out, so we got our strategos, our marshal, 21. So how is Zoe? 33. She's 30. Three Marshall. We want her. That is sick. That is incredible. You do not get anyone that good. Only through this. If you haven't guessed, she's Joan of Arc. She is Joan of Arc. No doubt about it. 
at um yeah it's like you do not get courtiers that are that good outside of events like this I don't know if there are even any for anything other than Marshall but yeah you get a Joan of Arc uh, event series the nobles react my Basilius the lords of their own complain that they think it most unfitting and strange that a young maid of low birth is allowed such a prominent position where there are noble lords aplenty who are much more well prepared and competent to lead your armies. Some of them are asking if you are doing this deliberately to insult them. There is also the issue of her claiming to be personally sent by God. It sounds rather heretical. Oh, I'm not sending I'm not sending her away. She's far too good. Let them moan, I am Basilius. Oh yeah, she is far too good to let go. And alright, just keep working on taking this little territory out. Fifty-eight, very good. So we got mostly a bunch of women that I will um that I will ransom. Okay, let's keep uh, how much? What's the six hundred? I wanna. I want to attack these guys down here if I can before they run away. Alright, I can get a couple of them. Not a big deal. I'll just keep working on this county. Oop. Zoe and the Basilius. One evening at court, Zoe approaches you and asks to speak with you in private. You agree and the both of you sit down for a talk in your chambers. Zoe speaks to you of her visions of Christ and her quest to save the country from the enemy. She speaks with passion, her simple honesty and forceful zeal, both coming across as she looks you in the eyes. She declares her fierce loyalty and love for you at, as the chosen Basilius. You are quite impressed by your passion, intelligence, and sincerity. Hmm. Alright, I'll go with this one. Uh, my dearest Zoe, you are truly sent by the Lord. Zeal. Zoe looks at you with tears of joyous fe uh, fervor in her eyes. My Lord, you are the highest and also the wisest man in the realm. God shall guide you through me, and the people shall be saved. With the sword of righteousness in my hand, guided by your wisdom and the will, and the will of God, we will be victorious. So shall it be. Um, alright, my son is looking too honest here. Um, you are looking to be more of a diplomat, so I believe honesty is good for diplomacy. Lose... hmm. Yeah, lose five prestige, no big deal. We're getting pretty close to getting this one finished up. Uh, okay, so most all right, her. Um, whatever. Uh, letter rot. You, I want to ransom. I cannot. It's the other one I want to ransom. Seventy-seven coming pretty close now. Now just nine hundred here. This place will be mine shortly. Zoe and the common folk. The entire country is boiling with rumors and gossip of Zoe, the humble country girl who rose to become a trusted servant of the Basilius. Hope of defeating the, en the realm's enemies is blossoming, and peasants everywhere are celebrating this fantastic tale of a virgin savior from the humblest ranks of society. She is truly a legend in her own time. Ooh, so... National re Revolt Risk minus 5%. That's pretty nice. Everybody's liking her, except for the nobles, it seems. Um, how about... I'll move you down to here. That's only 888. Very good. I didn't see what that was. Whoops. That happens sometimes. 
Where are you going? He's gonna go try and take some of my territory, it looks like. Zoe requests an audience. Zoe has come before you, asking to speak to you at the council. She says that m the military establishment seems trapped in old doctrines, and that commanders would benefit from more offensive thinking as well as more religious schooling, of course. This is grumbling from... Uh, there is grumbling from some of the assembled nobles at her speech. Hmm. Thank you, Zoe. This is a, g a good idea. Getting a lot of piety and get some military tech. That's very good. Many of the lords are pissed, though. They can screw off. I'm the Basilius. I'm good at this. I know what I'm doing. I want the best of the best. Okay, 86. This will be done shortly. And they're just kind of spazzing out. Once I get this territory, I'll fight those guys. Oop. Uh, well, let's get rid of this first. Zoe in the church. Your ecclesiarch Evangelos approaches you one morning for a candid conversation. My lord, there is much displeasure among the clergy at the elevation of this young woman, Zoe. The things she says are considered heretical by some in the Holy Church, and others frankly see this position threatened by one of such low birth and meager schooling gaining so much prestige. I would advise you to consider whether it is worth protecting this young lass at such great potential cost. I'm not imprisoning her. Please remind this, these clergymen who is Basilius. Alright, and I captured someone else. Let me see, uh, ransom you. Alright, uh, that one's done. I want to fight you right over there. Except that. And it'll be done very shortly. If I can just take out these guys, I this area should be mine. And... There we are. This over. Holy War One. And what can be usurped? The um uh, uh, the what is it called? Uh, Duchy of Sicilia. Now where is it? The Duchy of Sicilia. He is. I wanna get rid of, I wanna disband you and grant you as part of as the only area, the only dude in the Duchy of Basilia. I will grant you Come on now. Where is it? Uh here it is. Oh, and you're gonna like me a lot. There we go. Now I'll wait for this year to wrap up. It's only about halfway there. And maybe I'll get a little bit more of interest of Zoe in the meantime. How's my military doing? Oh, there we are. Oh, let me see though. Oh, okay, my military... My personal dumps is about halfway depleted. The influence of Zoe. These are unusual times. Zoe's influence is felt all around wherever you go. There is a surge of re uh, religiosity among the commoners who see her as a national savior and almost a Christ figure. Among the nobles, many are charmed by her pious innocence and energetic zeal, in spite of most of them also viewing her as a dangerous upstart. Meanwhile, the clergy is divided, some seeing a heretic, others a saint. Hmm. We should all try to be more like her. Alright, so it seems to be turning out pretty nicely. Hopefully this won't go the same way as Joan of Arc in real life. I don't know... I know that she was burned at the stake. For being a heretic. But I forget exactly... Um, like at what point. 
Now, let's get my son a wife. Let's see here. We probably want to get a princess. Princess of Abyssinia. Oh, wow. Princess of Aquitaine. Nice. Let me see here. Which one is actually closer to being... Alright, she is pretty far. But my son, I think he might have a claim. The Stammerer. Louis. And how about... Hmm. What, what were some of the other ones? Um, Abyssinia. How far is she in line? Uh, she is second. I mean, no, she is third in the, the rain. Abyssinia. And that's not a very large area. It's all the way down there. Oh, hello. You just aren't married. Maybe that would be an idea. Duchess. Hmm. Let me see here. Um, alright. Let's try this again. Are there any other princesses? Aquitaine, Bavaria. Asturias. Navarra. Hmm, okay, she's pretty far back. What would be the best alliance to have? Let's see here. Contain Princess of Navarra. We probably want the older one. Or... How about you? She was married to the king. Hmm. This guy... I don't think... I don't want him to marry a widow. I don't think that would be the best. Let me see here. Alright, it's looking like... Uh, how is Princess of Navarra? She doesn't look too bad. Kind, just, let's see. Hmm. Navarra is, is not very large. <laughs> they don't have much to give here. Hmm. I'm thinking I'll go with I'll make arrange betrothal to you. If we can get if we can get that territory over there, that'll be pretty nice. If we can get northern Spain northern Iberia rather. Got a little bit of Portugal. Alright, that'll do nicely. That'll do quite nicely. A common goal from Ephesus. Your magist uh, magistros, uh, Malcha, of all Oh, these names. Albazerski. Uh, okay. Comes to you a look of worry on his face. He explains that there are increased grumblings among the nobles regarding the position of your protege, Zoe. Many of them refuse to accept that a lowborn woman from Ephesus, however, however confident and pious, be continuously given so many privileges, normally reserved for nobility. It sets a bad example for the peasants and may cause unrest, they fear. There have been there have also been numerous incidents of perceived insults and scandals of protocol between Zoe and very prestigious army commanders. It seems many nobles feel they are uh, they have suffered her too long and some still entertain the idea of demanding her arrest and trial for heresy. Hmm. hmm. Not noble enough? Bring her before me and I shall knight her!
<laughs> They're gonna show up before the end of the year? Yes? No? Or maybe that just happened. Alright. Oh. A learned Jewish man has appeared at your court. He comes highly recommended in the arts of bookkeeping and administration. Already he has suggested several ways of improving the bureaucratic efficiency of the realm. And he could potentially make a fine steward. Indeed. Alright. So it looks like that's where we're going to... Oh, Holy War for Antioch. That's nice. Go get him, bro. It's only that little area I think you're going for. If you can do it, that'd be sick. But let me see. Can I get a... He's not quite as good, but he is... But he is Jewish, which gives benefit. So I'm just gonna go with... Sure. Uh, go for it. Because that'd give me some good benefits there. Can I get a better... Oh no, you're the best Ecclesiarch. But yeah, it looks like that's where we saved up. We got the Duki. It, it always makes me think I want to say Duki, <laughs> but Duchi of of um, what's this area? Cecilia, and we got Zoe uh, in our court, all being good at fighting and stuff. Whatever. Yeah, she's really good. She's great. Look at that. Voice of Jesus, look at all this. It's so good. But, yeah, and, um, so we got Joan of Arc fighting for us. And just thank you very much for joining me, guys. This is a good bit longer of an episode, but I think that was kind of important. I'll see maybe about doing some cutting, whatever. I'm cutting some of the film. Cutting this, whatever. Cut, ever, over. It's, uh, let's get, it's almost done. It's over. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. I'm Cyrock Omega. Have a nice day. Later.